even if you have different ways of navigating through difficult situations, if you don't have a form of incorporating feedback in some type of way, you may find yourself repeating patterns over and over again. So you just may find yourself in similar cycles with different people or with the same people. And part of that might be because you're not taking inventory as to whether the strategies are actually working. So we all have strategies. Uh, we, we attempt to always get out of stressful situations to regulate our internal state in different ways. The question is, are those actually working the way we want them to work? Are we achieving the state that we really want and the outcomes we really want? So in order to get better at not repeating patterns, um, and a key strategy is to use something called feedback and specifically feedback responsiveness, which I'll talk about in further in other videos as well. But there's two kinds of feedback that you can pay attention to. The first is internal. So that's really paying attention to our internal state. Is this conversation and the outcome, the after effects, is it creating an internal desired state that feels right to me? And does the different effects, situations, behaviors, whatever's happening next, does it actually just feel good? Does it feel right? So for example, if you're getting really stressed and your strategy is to turn to your phone and to look at it, go and scroll on social media, it's really important to start paying attention to during that, does it feel good? And afterwards, do you feel more motivated about life? Do you feel more like getting, getting to your goals and doing what you need to do? Or do you feel a little bit worse? So these are things to really start paying attention to. And I think a lot of people don't do that as they employ different strategies. And a lot of the strategies that we use might be good for short little bursts or occasionally, but it might not be the thing that we want to use all the time. And the way to know that is to really pay attention to this internal kind of feedback before, during, and after whatever that strategy is. Um, the other kind of feedback that we can pay attention to is social. So we can't control other people's behavior. We can't control their internal state or their reactions, but we can pay attention to whether how I have approached maybe whatever I'm doing in my internal state as well, and the decisions that I make, the way I talk about a, a, a person or to a person, whether the social feedback I'm getting is actually creating the outcome that I'm looking for. If it's not, it might be something that I can play with and experiment with trying something else. If I'm very, very serious about something and it just seems to spiral into a negative conversation, maybe it's time to try a little bit of humor or, or something a little bit kinder or compassionate or to disengage. So the social feedback we have is also very important. It's not just going into a frame of mind of it doesn't matter what other people think, I'm going to be me. We are social creatures and social feedback can actually be very important for us to understand how we are coming across as well. So combine, combining both of those is, is very important. So then in terms of this, in terms of the responsiveness, um, one of the, the ways that we can get better at not repeating and also not continuously employing strategies that actually don't really work very well are there's two key things. So evaluation. So that's our sensitivity to whether it is achieving what we want, whether we're feeling the way we want, whether the social responses are there. So that's that evaluation piece. And the second is adaptiveness. And this is a willingness to implement or cease or enhance or change somehow the strategies that we're using. So to become aware that there are other strategies that we could try and a willingness and ability to, to try these different strategies. So uh, this is just really important for us to think about because I think a lot of us are managing our stress, we're getting by, but we're not always asking ourselves and we're not tuning into these kinds of feedback in order to understand if it really is effective, if it's really doing what we want it to do, whatever those strategies are. So something to think about. And if you want to learn more, you can go to my website, stephaniefay.com, subscribe to my newsletter. I'll be talking about my book that's coming out this October and a seminar series that's also starting this October. So thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.